There's one simple tool on DJI drones that will help you nail your exposure every single time, but not very many people know how to use it. My name is John Meyer, and this is the Flying Filmmaker Drone Tip of the Week. So one of the best ways to judge your exposure rather than just looking at what the image looks like on your remote, which can be vastly influenced by how bright the light around is, especially with drones, because you're usually filming outside many times with bright sunlight hitting your remote, and that can make it very hard to tell if your shot is the right brightness or too bright or too dark. So to be able to accurately judge that, there's a tool called the histogram. And to turn this on, we'll just go here into our settings. We'll come over here to camera. We'll scroll down and under general, second setting is the histogram. And you'll want to flip this on. And then when you come back here to your main video feed, you'll see this little box that you can drag around that has some kind of humps and bumps in it. They are always moving a little bit. And if you don't know what they are, they make very little sense. But as confusing as the histogram looks, the way it works is actually quite simple. The right side of the histogram represents your highlights and the left side of the histogram represents your shadows. And how tall the peaks on the histogram are represents how much of your image is that brightness. And if the mountain and peak of data in your histogram is all bunched up toward the right, that means that your shot is on the bright side, probably overexposed. And if the peak of data is actually touching the right side of the histogram, that means that you're actually hitting the edge of the range of what the drone can record and actually clipping and losing data in the brightest parts of your image. And that is something that you want to always avoid. Now, the same is true the opposite way. If we darken our exposure way down, you'll see that everything moves over to the left side of the histogram. And that means that our shot is on the dark end, probably getting too dark. And again, if it's actually touching the end of the histogram, it's hitting the limit of what the drone can capture and clipping and losing data in those dark areas. So ideally what you want is to have the main peak of data be right in the middle of the shot, not all the way scrunched over to one side or the other. Now, obviously in more high contrast scenarios, you're going to have it spread out quite a bit across the range and that is fine. You just want to make sure that it's not all bunched up to one side or the other and to make sure that you have either none or not very much at all touching either side of the histogram. And there you have one of the most accurate and useful ways to judge the exposure of your drone shots. So that's it for this week's drone tip. You can visit flyingfilmmakerpro.com to learn how to shoot better drone videos and make sure to subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any of our weekly drone tips.